Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. And tonight, our matchup. We'll see the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Chicago Bulls. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Coach Mike Fratello. On our sideline, David Aldridge. He might make sure that tie is cinched up tight tonight. These teams like to fly up and down the floor. It's going to be a beauty. It's a good thing I remembered my tie class, Kevin. This should be such a fun matchup for us and for the fans. They'll have us on the edge of our seats. You know, they'll be looking for more of that. An easy layup right there. Always nice to get a few easy ones early in a game to build a rhythm. Davis, the pass to Rivers. To the paint. The shot by Rollins, no good. On the wing, Davis. And another one falls. All season long, he has been absolutely dominant. The scoring doesn't end with him. Yeah, he's already left his mark on history. Moving into third place for most points in a season. Amazing. Here's Rivers. Outside, Davis. Four on the shot clock. The 11 footer. Rivers can't get it to go. Last outing for the Hawks, it was a loss to Washington. Davis, the pass to Greenwood. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Saw that play developing and hit him in stride towards the cup. First quarter, just over a minute played. Rivers kicks to Davis. Rollins with a screen on Davis. Davis, the pass to Rollins. To end the run. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Their last encounter was in Chicago. They took that last meeting by simply overpowering them on the glass. A big win and a big rebounding difference. They showed more hustle and took control of the game. The Hawks have gone 0-4, missing their first four field goals. Here's Rivers. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around 7.5 points a game. Got him with the pump fake. Sad to move right there. An outstanding finisher. Wilkins is at his best when he's attacking aggressively. Here's Theus. He's guarded by Rivers. Took him no time at all on that one. You know, if the defense is going to give him the mid-range jump shot, he's going to take it all game long. Doing a nice job keeping things simple. Well, the defense must guard him better than that, especially when he's operating around the mid-range area. Now, here's Wilkins. 32 points for him last game against Washington. And you know what else impressed me? Was how infectious his tenacity was. He was simply a wrecking ball on the boards, collecting a huge amount of rebounds, too. Here's Davis driving to the basket. The layup off target. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for Atlanta. Seven-point differential. Hey, winning anywhere is hard, but especially on the road. So while they lost, I do think they put up a good, solid performance. I agree. I thought they played a good game. So it's Atlanta now. Wilkins dishes to Rivers. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Rollins. The anchor of this defense. Corzine making things difficult. The shot by Rollins, no good. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Love that teamwork. Wasn't it beautiful? Nothing like a sweet alley-oop. Most importantly, they build on this lead. That first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Wilkins surveying the defense. Let's it go. Nice touch on the shot from close range. Wilkins has got six points. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. 
Left side, Davis. And it's Chicago scoring again. A red hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. Rivers passes to Davis. Back to Rivers. Outside, Davis. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Defense plays with so much ferocity, erasing that size mismatch clearly. He won't be bullied in there regardless of the height disadvantage. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The Bulls leading by six. The three from Davis. Another three for Chicago. The vision for Theus is so elite. Check out that dish. Here's Rivers. Still yet to score. Here's the screen. Rebounded by Corzine. Incredible effort defensively. No easy buckets. The three from Davis. Rebounded by the Hawks. Outside Wilkins. Pass to Davis. The Hawks again can't hit. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. So it's the Hawks now. They trail by nine points. Outside, Davis. Puts one up from 19. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Marzine's got four rebounds now tonight. There's the pass to Greenwood. Some nice ball movement here by the Bull. Aggressive move. That's an easy two points most of the time. That one falls. Such an unselfish player. Doc Rivers has the type of attitude you want at the point. The Bulls leading by seven. Davis, the pass to Theus. A second chance effort outside for Davis. Lets it go with a three. Connects from three-point range. Davis has got 13. Right out of the starting blocks. They've been dominant at the offensive end. And that early momentum has helped them put together a nice lead. And Davis can't get it to go. Well, there wasn't much there in terms of defensive pressure. I'm sure he'd like another crack at that shot. Greenwood. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists tonight. They've been the aggressors right from the start, asserting themselves from the very beginning. Yeah, they're setting the tone, and they're doing it on both ends of the floor. Atlanta calls timeout. Atlanta making some changes. Johnson comes in for Hastings. And it's Matthews in for Doc Rivers. There's 154 left to play in the first. Outside, Davis. The 15-footer. Good. Davis has got his second bucket. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. And they double up Davis. Passes it to Higgins. Here's Greenwood. Davis up top, he's guarded by Davis. He forced the contact and almost converted the basket. About as close to an end one as you can get. Bulls shooting their first shots of the night from a charity strike. Davis. Two shots. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for Davis. Quite simply, he's automatic at the line. The Hawks trail by 12. Outside, Davis. Fires from the line. Rebound by the Bulls. Their last game, a win against Boston. Looking to carry it into this one. Well, their tenacity on the glass was on full display. And a key stat in the victory. Beyond the numbers. That shows their mindset, willing to do the dirty work. Brown is checked in for Atlanta. Wilkins comes in for Davis. One oh three left to play in the first quarter. 
Matthews goes in. And it's blocked. Look at Corzine going after the shot, using his reach to knock it away. The time call here, the Bulls decide to talk it over. from way outside. Johnson with the rebound. The Hawks trail by 12. Wilkins passes to Glenn. It's Matthews on the wing. Brown sets a screen for Matthews. Six to shoot. And it's Brown that time on the assist by Matthews. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. Puts up a deep three, and Davis puts it in. Davis, Davis has got 18 points. Well, it takes incredible accuracy and confidence to drain it from that deep. Uber impressive. Seriously, I was looking over at the opposing bench. They couldn't believe it either. A shot by Wilkins, no good. And so it's the Chicago Bulls looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We come back right after this. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And a comfortable margin here, guys, for the Bulls. You know, from the start, they've emphasized the three-point shot. And making those threes in the opening quarter, it's going to stretch the floor out for them. Now, here's Wilkins. Greenwood grabs the board. Greenwood's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got 20. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat, just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finding ways to stay on. Here's Glenn. He's coming off a 19-point game against Washington. He's become a pest to guard. Knows how to get to the line consistently. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. From deep three-point land, here's Corzine, and the dunk by Corzine. You know, a seven feet tall and pretty solidly built, Corzine does a nice job boxing out to create those opportunities for himself. Now, here's Matthews. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Pass to Glenn. Here's Brown. It's blocked. Here's Glenn, just five on the clock. And it's Theus with the rebound. Davis with it, Matthews covering. For the three. Greenwood the pass to Corzine. Here's Davis. The putback, it's good on the putback. And the Bulls lead by 17. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. And the second game of a back-to-back, -back, Coach, you know these guys are tired. Sometimes it's even more mentally exhausting than physically exhausting. We'll see how tonight works out. It feels like there's more and more talk, Coach, of a makeover to the draft system every year. Yeah, do you think that'll happen? It's probably only a matter of time. There's something imperfect about flipping a coin for the number one pick. 
there's buzz going on about some sort of a lottery system. And what do you think about that? Would you would you be in favor of a lottery system? Don't you think someone will find a way to circumvent whatever they set up? <laughs> Everybody's always <laughs> trying to beat the system. Absolutely. <laughs> they want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Pass to Johnson. It's Wilkins on the wing. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. Boy, I tell you what, Wilkins is athletic and cut up. Just bouncing off the contact and scoring with that weight room strength. Got that one up quick. 25 points for Davis. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. Rivers scanning the floor. It's Wilkins on the wing. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5 for 8 clip. Well, Dominique runs into some tight defense, but sticks with his shot and manages to push through. And here's Davis for three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Striping it from distance. No hesitation at all. He's had it go and been aggressive from outside. Now here's Rivers. No scoring in this one. Right side, Wilkins. Right wing. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. From outside the arc. Rebound by the Bulls. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Outside, Davis. The pass to Higgins. Outside, Davis. Elbow shot. And it's Chicago scoring again. Giving up mid-range looks to a shooter like him, not going to help you get out of this hole. Yeah, time for a change because right now they're just getting beat up. Now here's Rivers. Passes it to Hastings. It's Wilkins on the wing. Puts it up from 15. In Atlanta again with the bucket. Yeah, he's been streaky throughout his career, but this guy is unstoppable tonight. Using all of his skills and that athleticism to put pressure on the defense. Here's Davis. Dominic Wilkins making his last shot there. To the middle. With some arc. And Davis sends it back. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. <laughs> Atlanta making some changes. Rollins checked in for Johnson. Davis is subbed in for Wilkins. Pass to Hastings. Here's Glenn. Shot clock at six. Right side, Davis. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Davis has got seven points in the game. And it's Davis with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Rollins grabs the board. The Hawks trail by 19. The 10-footer. And he drops that one in. He's got nine. Absolutely fearless with that mid-range shot. Surprised he got it up and over him. That looked like he just knew where he was on the court. Great job to finish the play. Davis with the bucket. Three points. For Atlanta, they've gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. 156 left in the first half of basketball. Now here's Rivers. Defense right on him. And it's Davis missing. Normally, he knocks that down. The defense got a gift. And Davis, here we go. It's good. Davis. And now that's 35 points for Davis. Keep doing work inside. Close range looks like that. 
will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. Time and time now out. the first timeout called here for the Hawks. Atlanta making a switch here. Wilkins has checked in. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. We'll take a look at the Bulls. And not a surprise, really, to see them sitting there in that number one spot in the conference. The excellent brand of basketball they've been putting on display lately has been terrific. And, of course, the Hawks, they have a lot of ground to make up. And the Hawks with possession here. And it's Davis missing. Really good anticipation. Got a hand in the face right there. Really disruptive defensively. Great challenge. And Davis, here we go. And he lays it straight in. Davis has got 37. He's been a big factor here in the first half. Scoring in bunches. We've got 113 left to play here in the half. And here's Rivers. Hasn't made one yet. Pass to Wilkin. With the teardrop. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. Tricky make by Wilkins. Opting for the floater when he can't slip inside. Here's Davis. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Davis has got 39. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Now Rivers. And there's the pass to Wilkins. Shoots a fader. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Corzine's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Here's Greenwood off on the layup. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Davis with it. Picked up by Davis. Back to Rivers. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Pass to Hastings. Just four to shoot. Fade away. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. No good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Chicago. Finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And with the big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. By knocking down threes, he's provided some spacing for his team. And that's vital for your offense. Spread out the defense, exploit the openings. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. to Rollins. Outside Wilkins. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Here's Davis. Here's Greenwood. Goes back up. And it's laid in by Davis. Davis has got 41. It's simple. You got to get a body into your man. Box out if you want to rebound the ball. Defensive rebounding is about effort, trying, being willing to put a body on someone. Now, here's Wilkins. Out of bounds. It'll be the Bulls' ball. Well, Chicago has gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Davis. Count it. Good. Davis has got 43 points. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent here tonight. 
The Hawks shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. Davis against Davis. Inside. Here's Wilkins. Rebounded by Corzine. Corzine's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Davis. Davis has got 46 points. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's uh, much easier to win games when you own both sides Davis. of the floor. Hey, Mike, there's a lot of great young talent in the NBA today, but the veteran stars, I, I can tell, aren't ready to give up the spotlight just yet. Guys like Kareem, Dr. J, the Iceman, for all the exciting players coming up right now, they've got a long way to go to match some of the achievements of those legends. And no one appreciates those legends, Mike, more than you, because I think you, having coached and played like you have, you, you know what these guys have put into their careers, into their individual games. It, it's mind-bending. They've set themselves up so that younger players can watch them, try to emulate what they have done in the past, and try to reach the levels that they have achieved, which may be very hard to do for a lot of them. Wow, you're exactly right outstanding effort and performance here especially when you factor in they're on the road so difficult to win games away from home and they're not just up they're in control here's hastings nothing on the board wilkins up top rebound by the bulls davis has got his sixth rebound on the night Here's the three. Connects again from distance. Ever since halftime, they have been parked out at the arc, dropping bomb after bomb. And who can blame them? When you're hitting like this, you got to just keep it going. Pass to Wilkins. From 13 feet, it goes down. Wilkins has got 18 points. Well, you want the ball in his hands. A real good offensive player. Bulls have gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Goes up at the stripe. Again, Chicago. And perhaps the coach lit a fire under them at halftime because they have owned this third quarter. And it's important for them to keep it going. Can't show any signs of slowing down. Now here's Rivers. The pass to Davis. Here's Wilkins, and that one falls, coming off of Davis' speed. Wilkins has got six in the quarter. It's easy to jack up three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work. It's Davis on the wing. And Davis throws it down hard. Making a statement big time, my goodness. Showstopper for sure. Had the hang time and knew what to do with it. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Rivers with it. Still scoreless. Right side, Wilkins. Low block shot on the way. Back to Davis. Shot clock at five. He tries for three, and they're able to recover. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Chicago's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Here's Theus, and the layup's good off the glass. Theus has got his third basket of the night right there. Really nice touch from Theus. He knows when to attack defenses from this area. For Atlanta, they've gone two of six from the field here in the third. Rivers passes to Rollins. Here's Davis. And Wilkins now top of the key. Four on the clock. It's stolen by Davis. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. 56 points for Davis. And I think that play tells you everything you need to know. They're simply playing at a higher level, getting a steal, and turning it into quick points. Now here's Rivers. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. Hmm, 
they're having a really hard time out there. You're right. Left side, Wilkins. And he drops it in from the low post. Wilkins has got 22 points. The Bulls shooting an unbelievable 70%. You won't see a performance like this too often. Here's Theus. Rollins grabs the board. Rollins got his fourth rebound in this one. Wilkins the pass to Rivers. And Davis sends it back. He lobs it up. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Passes to Wilkin. Looking to get it going. And it's Davis missing. Davis has gotten four shots to go in 12 attempts. Bangs home the trifecta. Davis has got 59 points. He's out ahead of the pack on both sides with his scoring so far. Playing with a lot of intensity and refusing to be denied. For Atlanta, they've gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Rivers passes to Wilkins. The Hawks again can't hit. Chicago has gotten all four of the three-point shots to go down since halftime. They're lighting it up here. Take a look at the levitation. Just hanging suspended in the air. Gosh, it's fun to watch, and that's how he's able to slam it down with such ease. He makes it look easy, but trust me, it's not that easy. Now here's Rivers. He has yet to score. In the corner, Wilkins with it. Outside, Davis. Wilkins can't get it to go. And here is Davis. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. And it's Theus missing. And so it's Rivers with it. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Over Theus. Rivers can't get it to go. And a bit of a shooting slump here. I mean, he can't seem to get anything going. As a coach, this is when you want to draw up something that gets him an easy look at the rim, or at least a chance to go to the line. Up there extra long that time. Yeah, holding on Clark, does that count as hang time? Maybe. Maybe he's right, but it does count for two points. And so here's Atlanta. The Bulls getting the bucket to stop the run. And it's Wilkins. That time on this by Rivers. Wilkins has got 24 points. His jumper is sweet. Don't give Wilkins too many looks like that. The three from Davis. Another three for Chicago. Three points. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. Now Rivers. Pass to Rollins. And here is Wilkins. All alone. And the basket is good. Wilkins has got 12 points here in the second half. A potent offensive player. This is because Wilkins understands his teammates look to him to lead the charge. John Davis. First personal foul. First team foul. The Bulls have been perfect at the, at the line, line so Bulls. far, albeit just two Davis. for two. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. And both free throws good for Davis. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Matthews scanning the floor. Here's the lob to the hoop. A flawless finish on the alley -oop. Now, what should I call that? An alley oops? <laughs> no. Whatever we call it, it's two points. A little bit of a heat check right there, rising up from way downtown. And th there was a time a shot like that would get your bench. Not these days. And so it's the Chicago Bulls enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
and one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. The Bulls shooting a magnificent 69% in this game. The three from Davis knocks down the three ball. Davis. I think the defense has to turn that knob a bit. Ramp it up some. You can't allow him to get those kinds of outside looks. Especially when you're already trailing. It's time to lock it down out there. Hawks passing it around. Here's Glenn. The rebound by Corzine. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Davis in the corner. Front pass the arc. Here's Greenwood. Second shot opportunity. Outside, Davis. The good-looking shot from the wing. Davis has got five points now in the quarter. He's ready, willing, and able to carry the load offensively. Glenn passes to Matthews. And a pretty unique situation, right, Clark? Starting with last summer's draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers paying to recover their draft pick. And, Kevin, I'm not sure if they're going to recover it at all. I mean, after the litany of first-rounders they traded away with the previous ownership group, I mean, the NBA allowing the Cavs to buy back picks over four drafts, man, I tell you, that could be a long rebuild for the Ohio fans. Here is Davis following the bucket by the Hawks. Five to shoot. They get it back. Corzine the pass to Greenwood. Outside for Davis. Three-pointer. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Gets his body in position for the tip and then uses a soft touch to guide it in. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. From 10 feet out, the shot by Wilkins, no good. Chicago's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And Davis can't get it to go. The Hawks have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Wilkins wide open, and he fires! And he can't bank that one in. Pass to Theus. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. What body control from Theus, fighting through the contact. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. They did a tremendous job keeping guys fresh. Their aggressiveness took over, showcased by their points off the fast break. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. Rollins checked in for Brown. And Mike, this is our fourth year with the three-point shooting line. How do you feel about the change now that it seems like it's not going away? It's here to stay. Definitely makes for some interesting finishes and tactics. Teams haven't really used it that much. Seems more like a novelty at the moment. How do you think these coaches, Mike, are coaching their teams with this three-point line in play? I'm not sure every coach has bought into it, but there certainly are those who really believe in it, and you're going to start to see them up the numbers every game. And so here's Atlanta after the Bulls pick up two. Johnson can't hit. When you bring it inside, you have to go up strong. Oh, oh my, this what a point. Uh -huh. Dave Greenwood. That will make the highlight loop. <laughs> you're right. Definitely dunk contest material. This is what the fans pay to come see. Now here's Johnson. Matthews, no one around him. It's on target from the high post. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. Atlanta ball. Into the lineup for Atlanta. Scott Hastings. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. The NBA has expanded this season's playoffs, Mike, from six to eight teams per conference and no more first round buys. And I like the change. No free passes. You have to earn your spot in the conference semifinals. More playoff basketball is always a good thing, guys. Agreed. 
And again for three. As they keep expanding this lead, keep feeding him the ball. He's having a great shooting night, so yeah, I'd say getting him the rock is a great game plan. Davis, the pass to Rivers. Now the pass to Rollins. Rebound by the Bulls. The three from Davis. Good! Another from three. It's been a barrage of threes here in this last quarter, pouring it on from deep. They were saving their best shooting for last, hitting three after three. Here's Rivers. It's Wilkins on the wing. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. And that'll be his third foul so far. to the left wing. Good ball movement here by the Hawks. Six on the shot clock. A nice shot by Rivers. Nice anticipation off the pick from Rivers. Leads to a basket for him. Bulls have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth. Eight of 12. And look at that box out. Picture perfect job to get the seal and secure the rebound. Now, here's Wilkins. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Last season, the NBA, Mike adding the sixth man of the year and defensive player of the year award. What were your thoughts on that? A great decision by the league to create those awards, giving some love to guys who might not usually get recognition. I, I know you feel the same way. The game has so many levels and so many facets to it and everybody's got their hand on the success including the defensive player on that team or, or this guy that comes off the bench and is the, the crucial sixth man a guy might be great in one particular area why not be recognized for it because it's a major contribution to that person's team winning by him doing what he does well well that's a great thought showing just how dominant he can be He's just carrying this offense right now. Rivers with it. Left side, Wilkins. Back to Rivers. He kicks it to Davis. Puts up a three. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Here's Theus. Two minutes remaining in the game. Davis Two looking minutes. for an opening. No good on the triple. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for Atlanta. Over Davis. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Bulls shooting it brilliantly here late. 60% from the field. Nifty move. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. The past few years, Clark, the dominant big man in the league has been Moses Malone. And he's coming off his second consecutive MVP season. Yeah, I think you're exactly right. And that says it all. Back-to-back -back MVP awards. Come on now. I think he's one of the toughest, most durable, intimidating, glass-eating centers to really ever play the game. And both free throws good for Davis. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Rivers. It's Wilkins on the wing. Takes the 13-footer, and it's Chicago with the rebound. Greenwood's got his 16th rebound on the night. Winning in strong fashion. A relentless effort notches a W for the Bulls. I guess it was a confident win, wasn't it? The outcome not in question down the stretch. It wasn't especially close, and they created that separation with their execution and attention to detail. Something a coach always stresses. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Davis. Fantastic job playmaking by him tonight. Setting up others. A team-first approach. And here's Rivers. Passes it to Davis. To the inside. Here's Wilkins. And that one falls coming off of Davis' speed. Wilkins has got 31. So quick off the floor. 
Wilkins uses his absurd 42-inch vertical to grab the board and put it home. Now here is Davis. Connects again. What a performance tonight. A comfortable road dog. These don't come too often, so you have to savor them. So it's the Hawks now. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Wilkins. The shot, no good. And the Bulls with possession. Right side, Davis. Over Davis. And another one falls! Amazing! They've turned it up a notch here during this home stretch. Yeah, saving their best basketball for when it mattered the most. That's how you secure a win. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. The but they played as well as you can play on the road. It is so hard, Kevin, winning on the road. I mean, blowing out the home team, that's even more impressive. And that'll do it, folks. So for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching this 2K sports presentation of the NBA. So long and good night, everyone.